Okay, let's start off by getting the theoretical lengths of the hips. Let's start with hip one. From our worksheet, we determine that the run of hip number one is 24.74 inches. We know that this roof is 10 inches tall because the commons have a run of 24 inches and this roof rises five inches for every 24 inches of run. So the rise of the roof is 10 inches. We end up with a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. We can do the square root of 10 squared plus 24.74 squared. That gives me a theoretical length of hip number one as 26.68 inches. Let's go do the same thing for hip number two. Again, the rise of the roof is 10 inches. The run from our worksheet of hip number two is 26.83 inches using the Pythagorean theorem. The square root of 10 squared plus 26.83 squared equals a theoretical length of hip number two as 28.63 inches. Now we'll do the backing cuts. Um, from the worksheet, we know that where hip number one meets the wall line, this angle is 75 degrees, 75.96 degrees plus 70.35 degrees, or the angle is 146.31. So with your protractor, you come over, make a mark at 146.31. And we also know from that worksheet we did in the beginning that the center line of the hip is at 75.96 degrees. Make a mark, go ahead and make that corner and bring a full width four by hip in there. Now for the backing cuts, and that's what I've made this picture for. We have to do a couple calculations. First off, take a square, come down the outside edge of the hip to where it meets the wall. Square across and make a hash mark on the center line of the hip. Do it on this side and do it on the other side of the hip. Come down the outside edge of that hip where it meets the wall line Bink, square across, make a hash mark. <clears throat> Go ahead and measure from the outside of the wall up to the first hash mark, which is this side, and you get a measurement of 7 16 or 0.37 inches. Measure from the outside of the wall up the center line to the other further hash mark, and you get 5 8 of an inch or 0.625 inches. We take those two measurements and we relate them to the hip itself. These measurements are similar to the run measurements and so we're looking for the rise. To do that we make a simple equation. 10 is to 24.74 equals x is to 0.625 that equals 0.25 or 1 quarter inch. Let's do it for the other side. 10 is to point is 10 is to 24.74 equals x is to 0.437 that equals 0.18 or 3 16 of an inch. Now what I do with those numbers is I take that quarter inch, I go up to my 4x4 four four hip, I come down square off the top edge, one quarter inch, and I make a line there the length of the hip. From that point up to the center line, it goes to zero. We cut that chunk out, <clears throat> and that's our backing cut. We can figure out what to set the saw at by getting the tangent of this little angle here, which is opposite point 25 divided by adjacent 1.75, hit arc tangent, and you know to set your saw at 8 degrees. Let's 
Let's go to the other side of the hip, this side. We come down off the top edge, 3 16 of an inch, scribe a line the full length of the hip, figure out what to set the saw, which is 3 16 the, t uh, the tangent of that angle equals 3 16 divided by 1 and 3 quarters, and we end up with setting the saw at 6 degrees. So these two triangles are getting cut out. These are the backing cuts. That's for hip number one. Now let's go do the same thing for hip number two. We, um, same thing, I've drawn in. I know that this corner is a total of 63.43 degrees plus 60.26 degrees, or the total corner is 123.69 degrees. And I know the center line of the hip is 63.43 degrees. So go ahead and draw that in. Come back with your square. Come down to the outside edge of the hip, down to where it meets the wall line. Square across, make a hash mark. Same thing other side. Hold the square on the outside of the hip, come down to where it meets the wall line. Square across, make a hash mark. Measure the center line from the outside of the wall up to the, let's go to the furthest hash mark. It's one inch or 0.99. This hash mark, which is closer, is 7 eighths of an inch or 0.875. Now let's relate it to hip number two. 10 is to 26.83 equals x is to 0.875. That equals 0.32 or 5 sixteenths of an inch. Let's get this one. 10 is to 26.83 equals x is to 0.99. That equals 0.37 or 3 eighths of an inch. Do the same thing as we did in hip number one. Take this final measurement, go up to our hip, come down the top edge, top outside edge, 5 sixteenths of an inch, scribe a line, find out what to set our saw, which in this case would be 10.36 degrees, and you'd cut that chunk out. Go to the other side of the hip, scribe a line. Length of the hip from that top edge, 3 eighths of an inch. You'd be setting your saw 12 degrees. Go ahead and cut that out. Those are your backing cuts. These hips are not really highly unequal, so the backing cuts are very similar. Some irregular hips you're going to get on will have drastically different backing cuts. So now that we've got this information, now that we've got the backing cuts and we've got the theoretical length of the hips, let's move back to our cutting pattern. Okay. Okay, we're back to the sheet we're going to cut off of. Now, we've got theoretical lengths of hip number one and hip number two. We've got to get their actual lengths. To do that, we look at our drawing, and let's go with hip number one. We see that the theoretical length and the run of hip number one takes us to here. But actually, when you put the framing members, it doesn't start to here. So first off, we measure this run. That's, how much we ha that's the run of how much we have to shorten hip number one. That measures 0.75, okay? We then subtract that amount from the original run amount, which was 24.74, and that gives us a new number of 23.99 as the actual run of hip number one. Now to see what that does to our theoretical length of hip number one, we have to do a simple relationship equation. The way that equation works is the theoretical length of hip number one, which is 26.68, is to, or is divided by, our theoretical run, the original run, which is 24.74, equals x divided by our new shortened run, or 23.99. That gives us a new length of hip number one as 25.87, or 
at 7 8 inches. Okay, that's it. That is now the actual length of hip number one. Let's do it again for hip number two. Hip number two's original run that we figured out on the worksheet, that first worksheet, was 26.83. And then we came up with a theoretical length of hip number two as 28.63. So 28.63 divided by 26.83 equals x is to our original run, 26.83, and we have to shorten hip number two, this amount, 2.25. So x is to 26.83 minus 2.25, or 24.58. The length of hip number two the actual length of it is 26.229 or 26 and a quarter inches. Okay, so I know I'm making this complicated, but the equation is take the what we found from that last chart as the theoretical length of hip of the hip divided by the run of the hip equals x which is our, going to be our new length of our hip and divide that by our original run minus what we have to deduct for shortening. 